I'm Andrew Davis, I'm a professor in the management of projects. My area of expertise is innovation, project-based firms and the organisation and innovation in mega projects. I'm Michelle Badley, I'm professor in the economics and finance of the built environment and my research has specialised in the areas of behavioural economics, macroeconomics and applied econometrics. The school has a really strong foundations in the management of projects and that goes back really to Peter Morris's work on you know, the history of project management and really bringing in um, ideas from organisational theory and, uh, and, and various aspects of um, management and strategy to really take the management projects forward in a, in, a, in a really interesting way. And I think you know, my role and what I would really like to do at the school is to take that, to build on that and really to move forward with that into studying mega projects uh, and the, some of the, um, the major projects that we face in the UK at the moment. What new themes are coming out of this? I think the, the central thing is really um, you know, that we should no longer think of mega projects as avoiding risk but actually taking on some risk, some innovation to actually improve performance and this is really a new and radical different way of thinking about mega projects. It should be really focused on practice and actually changing practice as well which I think is one of the main themes of, of our school. The management of project enterprises, I think, is really um, crucial. I mean, personally, this, you know, I think it's fundamental for the school, uh, but personally, actually, a lot of my early work was really about what I call the project business, but this is about how projects develop organisational capabilities, how they learn from one project to another, and they really how they develop new business models. So, you know, we're really talking about the project-based firm. So how do project-based enterprises differ from ordinary firms? I think really understanding more about how companies organise uh, and la launch new projects, how they, you know, how they really then take their learning from those new projects, those vanguard endeavours, and bring them back into their organisation and rapidly and quickly assemble capability so that they can build markets you know, and they can develop their capabilities both you know, in the UK and abroad. So with the school moving more into um, issues of economics and finance of the built environment, one thing that's been quite interesting is seeing how project management and economics connect together in a way that I think most people haven't necessarily acknowledged very much. What do you think are the um, opportunities of looking at the economics of infrastructure? I think particularly there's not been much research done on infrastructure at the moment even though it's, it's, a, it's a very topical issue. So in terms of what infrastructure projects can do for the macro economy as a whole, in the short term obviously to boost the economy, but also in the longer run pr promoting productivity, employment, all those sorts of long run issues. So a whole load of macro impacts but also impacts on a micro scale as well. In terms of tra transport infrastructure, having a good understanding of the economic and financial case for these projects is absolutely essential for the government planning, what they're going to do in the future, but also for the ordinary people who benefit from these projects. What's the role of collaboration? Collaboration, particularly in building infrastructure projects, we're, we're building up some research in those sorts of areas because it's absolutely essential to have an economic understanding of it, but having an economic understanding of it in terms of networks as well as the tricky things. So the two ideas can come together because the economics can contribute in terms of how networks can constructed, what their benefits are, some of the issues to do with imperfect information and how, how that constrains the networks. But the network analysis can give some insights into the structure of the networks and how they work. So I think bringing the two together is a really good example of how economics and project management can really come together effectively to give some really interesting new research insights.